Social media gives us the freedom to share our thoughts with thousands of people around the world. But with freedom comes responsibility for celebrities. That can be a lot of pressure because you have millions of eyes on your feed at all times. For the people on our list today, things quickly went downhill with just one wrong move on social media. Thanks for coming back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host for this one. I'm Joss Bedard. As you might be able to tell, I am not filming in the studio because I am self-isolating like the rest of the world, but I promise we will be back to filming in studio as soon as we can be. But make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video because we will still be running a blooper reel and I will also handpick some of your comments and respond to them. But for now, let's get into today's list. Here is the top 10 celebrities who destroyed their careers on social media. Starting us off at number 10 is Jay Station. The famous YouTuber caused one of the most recent scandals to hit the platform, and it all started when he announced online that his girlfriend had died tragically. He was dating Alexia Morano when he recorded a YouTube video of himself crying and mourning her death, saying that she was hit by a drunk driver. He even visited a memorial and acted out the entire thing. But the video was deleted a few days later and a new one was posted explaining that she was alive and he did it to bring followers to their new channel that they were apparently creating together. Alexia posted a response video saying she had nothing to do with it and shared that they aren't together because of his abusive behavior. He was eventually arrested and charged with assault. So yeah, safe to say his career is uh, pretty destroyed after that. She probably never faked someone's death. Sniping our number nine spot is Justin Bieber. In 2014, the singer posted a photo on his Instagram of him standing in front of a Japanese shrine and captioned it, thank you for your blessings. Sounds innocent, right? Wrong. Because the photo was taken at Yasukuni Shrine, which is actually a very controversial place because it honors Japanese who were responsible for the death of thousands of Chinese during World War II. It's the center of a huge political debate among a lot of other Asian countries. Justin quickly realized his mistake when he saw the backlash from his post and removed it immediately. He followed up with an explanation saying, while in Japan, I asked my driver to pull over for which I saw a beautiful shrine. I was misled to think the shrines were only a place of prayer anyone I've offended. I am extremely sorry. I love you, China, and I love you, Japan. Sounds like an innocent thing. I don't know. Next up at number eight, we have Floyd Mayweather. The legendary boxer doesn't shy away from saying what he wants in public, so it's not all that surprising that he does the same on his Twitter account. Back in 2012, one of his tweets about Taiwanese American basketball player, Jeremy Lin, sparked a bit of controversy for its racial connotations. He tweeted out, Jeremy Lin is a good player, but all the hype is because he is Asian. Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. Some people may have agreed with him, while others were furious and began to call him a racist. Regardless though, he was unbothered by all the backlash and just continues to speak his mind online. Cruising into the number seven spot is Danny Mathers. She's known for starring on TV series like Badass and The Bold and the Beautiful, but she's mainly known for her work as a Playboy model. But both sides to her career came to an end in 2016 after she posted an image on her Snapchat of a naked seven-year-old woman at a gym with the caption, if I can't unsee this, then you can't either. The image immediately got backlash and it actually resulted in her facing criminal charges. She was fired from a radio show and banned from LA fitness gyms all across the US. People were outraged that she would body shame someone like that, especially to an audience the size of hers. Later in 2017, she faced the court and pleaded no contest to a charge of invading the woman's privacy. She was fined $1,000 in order to spend a month of doing community service and removing graffiti all around Los Angeles. Coming in number six is Geraldo Rivera. Back in 2013, the TV star host wanted to make people laugh and decided to post a half naked selfie on Twitter. In the picture, he's showing off his upper body and captioned it, 70 is the new 50. Erica and family are going to be so pissed, but at my age, there was one thing he was right about, and that was people were pissed. His daughter was mortified and texted him the next day to take it down immediately. He could handle his embarrassed daughter, but his boss at Fox was even more pissed and his job was on the line because of it. Geraldo ended up taking the picture down the next day because Fox contacted him and told him that he had to delete it immediately. Like there were no options. I would literally be mortified if my father posted a topless photo. Halfway through at number five is Justine Sacco. This girl actually became famous from being the most hated person on the internet. 
There was a point when she was just a regular PR consultant with a couple hundred followers, but then she tweeted something that she thought was funny and it sparked a viral controversy. In 2013, before heading off on her trip to South Africa, she tweeted, going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding, I'm white. A tech writer named Sam Biddle came across the tweet and retweeted it to the 15,000 followers that he had. And then it all just went downhill from there. Thousands of people were outraged and the hashtag has just seen landed yet started to trend worldwide. She ended up getting fired from her job and she continued to say that it was just a joke. Not very funny, Justine. Not funny. Moving along, we're at number four with Amanda Bynes. Just by looking at her Twitter account, we could tell that she was struggling in her personal life. People adored her from the day she showed up on Nickelodeon, but it appeared that the famous lifestyle kind of like caught up to her and her life became unstable. And the only way we knew this was because she announced everything on her Twitter account with personal details and full exclosure. She first announced her retirement from acting when she was just 24 years old, but then she announced that she had unretired herself. And from there, we saw a variety of tweets that ultimately caused her entire career and reputation to crumble. She insulted fellow celebrities, she claimed that she had a microchip inserted in her brain. She spoke about her private legal issues and even accused her dad of being a sexual predator. Literally, this girl has had no filter, but still wishing her the best because I really did love her. Taking over the third spot is Ari Shafir. The world was taken by storm recently when news broke that the NBA legend Kobe Bryant had died in a helicopter crash alongside his daughter and some friends. While the world was grieving and mourning the loss, comedian Ari Shafir was sending out insensitive tweets and accused Kobe of being a rapist. He tweeted, Kobe Bryant died 23 years too late today. He got away with rape because all the Hollywood liberals enjoy rooting for the Lakers more than they dislike rape. Big ups to the hero who forgot to gas up his chopper. He later posted that it was just a joke and that every time a beloved celebrity dies, he jokes about them like that and has been doing it for years. So apparently that makes it okay. His talent agency dropped him and the New York Comedy Club canceled all of his upcoming shows. And I think that is very much deserved. Winning the number two spot on our list is Ashton Kutcher. The actor doesn't usually cause too much drama online, but in 2011, he sparked a huge scandal after he defended someone who had dismissed sexual assault cases. What happened was in 2011, Penn State's legendary coach, Joe Paterno, was fired after he neglected to address child molestation that allegedly took place in his locker room. It appeared that Ashton didn't have all the information before he tweeted out, how do you fire Joe Pa? Hashtag insult, hashtag no class. As a Hawkeye fan, I find it in poor taste. Fans didn't take kindly to it and they were furious that he would defend someone in Joe's position. But after finding out the full story, Ashton deleted the tweet and apologized saying, I feel awful about this error. As an advocate in the fight against child sexual exploitation, I could not be more remorseful for all involved in the Penn State case. Guys, I really do think this was an honest mistake. You know, just one of those things where you just spoke a little too soon. And at number one is someone you might not expect, the high school musical legend, Vanessa Hudgens. The actress recently did an Instagram live stream where she shared her thoughts on the current pandemic our world is facing right now with COVID-19. Everybody gets it. Like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like, inevitable? In her video, she said, I quote, even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are gonna die, which is terrible, but inevitable. She continued to laugh off her comments and appeared to be incredibly insensitive to it and people were furious. Her comments started to circulate all over the internet and after seeing the damage that she had caused on her career and reputation, she issued an apology. She tweeted out, I'm so sorry for the way I have offended anyone and everyone who has seen the clip from my Instagram live yesterday. I realized my words were insensitive and not at all appropriate for the situation our country and the world are in right now. People, however, are not so forgiving and they've actually gone as far as making TikTok videos, poking fun at the fact that she just ruined her own career. All right, guys, that is our top 10 list for today. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. You might get a feature in my next video, but for now, I'm gonna read some comments from some of my other videos. Breezer says, love you for this Joss. I was wondering if you all would work from home. All the channels should. Thank you for continuing to bring us content. Honestly, we really appreciate you guys watching. And yes, we are all gonna work and film from home. Content is coming on all the channels. Crimson underscore Carson says, Jocelyn, you should narrate National Geographic. <laughs> Definitely not. I literally wouldn't be able to like pronounce any of those words. 
not gonna happen. Bella Marie says, Jocelyn, hate not seeing you, but be safe, girl. Guys, I am totally okay. I understand that the voiceover video like freaked everyone out and everyone thought I was like not doing well. I'm fine. It just had to happen because we were making the transition. So, there I am. Stardust Nova says, liar, you do have a Twitter. Okay, I have a Twitter from when I was like 17 in grade 12. I haven't even used it in forever. I'm pretty sure I tried to get it back at one point and then I gave up. I didn't tweet anything. All right, guys, that is all I have. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can also ring the notification bell to keep hanging out with me every day. But for now, enjoy the bonus content and stay safe out there. He even visited, he even visited a memorial. Uh -huh. That came out weird. Who's hot under these lights, mom? <sighs> so hot. I mean, I ain't trying to mess with Floyd Madweather, so you can say whatever you want. Oh, Lila. Please stop licking your butt. I can hear it. I feel offer, but offer. <laughs> yep. I feel offer. Do you feel offer? Always. I feel awful about his. <laughs> now I just keep. I'm gonna keep saying offer.